This is my last video with the Do All Outdoors Clay Cannon. I had a lot of questions. So today we're going to show you how this thing works and give you some instructions on how to use it. What's up crew? I'm Chris with CloverTac and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, we do a wide variety of firearm and outdoor related content, including written reviews over on gear-report.com. So we're kind of down in the woods today and we're gonna be taking another look, a closer look at the clay cannon from Do All Outdoors. Before we get started, quick question. What type of shotgun sports do you like? Five stand, sporting clays, skeet, trap? Let me know in the comments below. Now the first thing you're going to need to do when you get this clay cannon out of the box is install the secondary grip or handle. And there's a couple of locations on uh, this particular unit where you can do that. You can mount it right here or you can mount it underneath. It kind of just depends on what's more comfortable for you. Uh, and installation is really simple. All you're going to need for that is a Phillips head screwdriver. Now the clay cannon is super versatile. As you can see here, it will actually use the mini the midi or the standard size sporting clays. Now the clay cannon is of course spring powered. There's an arm inside here that attaches to a spring. Now the orange knob on the back, that's gonna be for your tension. And if you'll notice that little window right here, there'll be an indicator in there. So you can see if you've got minimum to maximum tension and you're gonna twist it. I believe it's clockwise to increase the tension counterclockwise to lower the tension. And remember too that the more tension you get, the faster it's gonna throw the clays. However, the harder it's gonna to be to cock that throwing arm back. We've got a very nice, comfortable, ergonomic style pistol grip there. Uh, obviously a standard trigger, which most people are used to. And also a really cool feature is the safety button. It's like a cross bolt safety. Once you get it cocked back, you can engage the safety and if you accidentally bump that trigger, the uh, arm will not release. Now I'm gonna do a little demonstration. I'm gonna fire two clays at one time. Yeah, I said two clays at one time. That's something that the clay cannon can do. So I'm gonna cock it back and get the safety on. Now I'm gonna adjust my tension. It's about halfway now. I'm gonna tighten it up just a little bit more. Gonna place our clays in there you need to pay attention to the launch zone area that's going to be where the clays kind of start to come out see what it does let's try that again but this time with a single clay Now we're taking a look down inside the unit. Here is our throwing lever. It latches to the trigger down here. I'm gonna go ahead, cock that back, put the safety on, and I'll show you the rest of it. Okay, now that we've got it cocked back and the safety on, it's not going anywhere. You'll notice there's a little sticker down in here. It's hard to see that on the camera, but it's right in here. Uh, there's a little ridge right in between the orange and the black. And that sticker says that's where you want to set your clay. And of course, as it pushes down and rolls down, as that clay does, it's going to catch that ridge and not really go any further. But that is supposedly the optimal position for throwing clays. So I know a few of you out there are probably wondering just how fast does this clay cannon throw a clay? Well, I'm going to set up the chronograph and we're going to attempt to measure that. While I'm setting up that chronograph, go ahead and give us a thumbs up if you like this video. It helps the channel and we do appreciate it. So we've got the chrono set up here. We're gonna see if we can make this work. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna loosen off the tension on the first two that I fire and see what the speed is on the lowest setting. Then I'm gonna crank that tension all the way up. It should throw faster, see what happens. And so with that, we got a speed of 61. Feet a second. 
Now let's fire another one, see what we get. We got a speed of 60 feet a second, so it's pretty darn consistent, if nothing else. Now I'm gonna crank up the tension on this thing. We're gonna see just how fast it shoots, what type of a speed improvement is made by increasing the tension on the unit. And so that one was 68 feet a second. So by increasing the tension on this spring, it looks like we gained eight feet a second. Let's try one more. And we got 67 feet a second. So it's throwing really, really consistently. So that was a closer look at the clay cannon from Do All Outdoors. Hopefully that answered a lot of questions that you guys have, but remember, hey, if you got more questions, throw them down in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching. Till next time, don't forget to chain fire freedom.